Hey everyone, Sean Frangella here with a new video about how to take Adobe Fuse characters and bring them easily into Cinema 4D. So Adobe Fuse is a custom character builder that's part of Creative Cloud. And if you're a Creative Cloud member, it's available now and you can use it to create custom characters and you can very easily send those models over to a full 3D app like Cinema 4D where you can do your full 3D animation and modeling and all that stuff without having to worry about things like rigging or painting weights on the models. Let's jump in and see what we're talking about and show how easy this is to get your custom characters into Cinema 4D. So here we have a character that I've built in Adobe Fuse. And if you want to learn more about getting this set up from scratch, be sure to check out my other video where we'll talk about getting started with Adobe Fuse to get to this point if you didn't see that one already. And now if we want to bring this into Cinema 4D or another 3D app, what we want to do is click this Save to Mixamo button. And that's going to save this to my Creative Cloud character and upload it to Mixamo. So I'll call this Zombie. 3D save, it's going to export that and upload it to my library and then send it to Mixamo's site where I'll be able to add motion capture data and download it in a variety of formats with a rig. And once that's done, it's going to pop open Adobe's Mixamo app where it's going to auto rig this character for me, which is awesome because rigging can be a real pain sometimes. And once that's done, it's going to show us some example mocap animation with our character automatically rigged. It's going to give us some basic skeleton settings of if we want to enable facial blend shapes, as well as how we want to address the skeleton and how it's rigging the fingers right here. We'll just leave it on standard so we get the full control. Then we'll click update rig and they're just ready to go. So we'll just hit finish. Now it'll be ready to download as a rigged character, and we could take a look at that or animate it right off the bat. Let's go to view in my assets, and this will be our character all rigged up. If we just want to grab this and jump right into Cinema 4D and start editing, we can click Q download. It's going to ask me what format we want as well as our pose. We'll leave it as FBX. That'll work well in Cinema 4D, and we'll grab a T pose and then hit Q download. It's going to load that up. These are just some earlier ones that I already set. So I'm going to click download that. And once that's done downloading, I can grab it in my finder to make sure it downloaded. And then I'm going to open up Cinema 4D. And in Cinema 4D, I have an empty project file set up. I'm going to go to File, Merge, and find that FBX file and click Open. It's going to give me a bunch of options of how I want to import my geometry and animation. I'll just leave it as is and click OK. And now we have our character in Cinema 4D all rigged up correctly through C4D joint. So if we wanted to move or animate this character, we could take a look at our joint system and grab any of these if we want to edit it. So let's just go to our spine and then we could move or rotate it. And you can see it's all totally rigged up and name correctly if we wanted to grab any of these, which is great. It's all going to work and react as it should. And we could move and animate this around as we want to. And if we want our textures to show up properly, we just need to open one of these up and then select all of them and check off transparency. We don't need transparency for this. And it's just one thing that comes with. And then if we take a look, here's our character. If we do alt R for an area render. We can see it's all working. And from here, we can start to drag some lights in, light our scene however we want to, adjust our render settings. If we want to go to the physical render and maybe add ambient occlusion and get HD render settings. And if we take a look, now we have this file that we built in Fuse totally ready to go in Cinema 4D as a rigged character, and if we take a look at our render, all our textures are working and our lights hitting our character. Now, one of the other great things about Fuse, if we go back to the web app, is that we can go to characters, load that one up, and we can grab a lot of existing mocap animation by clicking find animations. And they have tons of mocap data that we can grab and 
apply it on our character, and then download it and bring it into Cinema 4D. So let's take a look through one of these. We'll get this zombie throwing a baseball. Let's click that. And it's going to load our mocap data. Let us edit some custom settings, like the energy level, how slow or fast it's going, the arm space so we don't get any overlap. And then if we want to download this as an animated FBX file to bring into C40, we can click Add to My Assets and then click View Download. And it's going to open up My Assets under My Animations. And I can again click Q Download. It's going to ask what format I want, with or without skin, what frame rate we want. So 30 is fine for animation games. We'd want to go to 60. We could even change it to FBX for Unity or Unreal if you're going that route. I'll just leave it at FBX. I'll go Q Download. It's going to set that file up. I'll click Download. And then back in Cinema 40, if I want to load that one, I'll just delete this whole rig. And again, go to File, Merge, and grab that new one of my baseball pitching animation. Click Open. OK for importing. And now if we take a look at this new one, we have our rigged character. And if we scrub through, he's twisting around and throwing that pitch. And we can quickly update our textures again by doing that little transparency selection off. And now we have our rigged character into Cinema 4D. With our mocap data added, we can scrub through and it plays the whole animation. And we didn't have to worry about editing the rig or painting weights or anything like that. So using Adobe Fuse to build characters and then bring them directly into Cinema 4D with the T-Pose or some mocap data is a really awesome new workflow for working with 3D characters and making things a lot simpler and easier. As a 3D artist, being able to access all of these custom models, mocap data, and assets just by having a Creative Cloud membership is a really big perk, and I'm really excited about it. And if you want to learn more about working with Fuse, you can check out some of my other Fuse tutorials about getting started and really diving into a lot of the character customization tips and tricks. So you can get building your own characters and adding mocap data to bring them into Photoshop or Cinema 4D or any 3D app for that matter and get going right off the bat. And if you want to check out more tutorials, be sure to subscribe on YouTube at youtube.com slash Sean Frangella. And if you have any questions, you can hit me up on Twitter on at Sean Frangella. And if you want to help support the show and see more 3D tutorials, you can help out by pitching in on Patreon at patreon.com slash Sean Frangella. As always, thanks for watching. I will see you at the next video. Do you like watching these tutorials and want to see more episodes more often? You can help keep the show going by lending your support on Patreon at patreon.com slash seanfrangella. More importantly, if you want to throw in a couple extra bucks, you can get bonus content like project files used in the tutorials, answers to direct questions, live hangouts for questions, and even request specific tutorial topics for me to use for my next video. Also be sure to subscribe to the show by clicking the subscribe button or visiting the show homepage at youtube.com slash seanfrangella. And if you're hip with social media and have a question about this tutorial, you can find me on Twitter at Sean Frangella. As always, thanks for watching and I will see you at the next video.